Hey, what is going on YouTube? I haven't made a video in quite a while, so I figured I'd film today. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of stuff done today. It is currently 426. I spent most of the morning doing work on the computer, ran to the grocery store, got all the stuff I needed, um, went to Walmart, got everything I needed, so. I also went to the tag agency because I had to renew my tag and got the, got the newer tag. Um, for those of you that don't live in Oklahoma, last year, I think it was, they changed the um, tag. They changed the tag design to where you had to get a whole brand new tag. You couldn't just update the current tag you had. So I got a brand new tag. Um, and this morning, whenever I went to, and got into my car, I checked my oil because I haven't checked this since I got the last oil change and I was about a quart low, so I went to O'Reilly's, grabbed a quart of oil, and put that in the car. So since I filled the oil back up, the car seemed to ring a little bit better. But right now, I am on my way to go to pull apart again with Tim. Um, this time he needs coil packs because he thinks one of his cylinders is uh, misfiring, so, and his car runs like garbage. But, Tim also bought a new exhaust tip, so I want to show you guys that whenever I go meet up with him. I just got to a VP Racing Field. This is where I met up with Tim. Look at what this dude installed on his car. It's just a tip, but it's like... Now give us like a rev. Like ass. So he literally just attached it to the end. That's all he did. I want it to be about there. Instead of yeah, here. I was gonna say it six out a little bit too, too far. From yeah, that's. My and if I had a way to remove that little hanger down there, I could push it back in farther. So we're going to get Make coil sure. packs or a coil? Just a single coil. That's a split in six Do you know what cylinder's misfiring? No. It's a single coil that controls all six. Okay, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we made it to OKQ. Okay, so there's at the OKQ parking lot, there's like a thousand lug nuts just laying around. So last time we came here, I picked up like all of them. So they're all still sitting in my uh, cup holder. They're just, they're everywhere. Oh, there's like six torches over there. Go figure. We found one. Here's the first one with the usable motor. So it appears that the ignition coil uh, is aftermarket, so that's kind of a good deal. Apparently Tim's uh, right back tail light is busted, so he's gonna get one of those while we're here as well. You're gonna need to detail that a little bit, but other than that, it's good. All right, so we, got, we just got an LKQ. We're gonna install this in the parking lot, so. Getting wrong word. Watch it be misfiring again. Seems to run fine, huh? That's running really smoothly. It's not shaking or anything. It used to shake a lot. Cool. Give it a rev. Put it dry. No vibration. Oh, you got a backfire on that. Or it sounds better. Yeah, it sounds a lot better. Whenever you use the floor to use it, it's like sweater. <laughs> What's next? Mm, back to Midwest City. So since Tim got is running on all six cylinders now, I used to be able to like literally walk him. He could like right there fly by me and I could still walk him. There might actually be a chance that he could, that it'd be an even shot. Even though his car comes with 155 horsepower. I'm, cur I'm curious to see what it can do. So we'll see on the way there. I'll try to film some rollers and we can go from there, so. 55, I guess. Three, two, one!
We're gonna 25 roll. Three, two, one. Dude, almost keep up with those runs were really fucking impressive, to be honest with you.